Here's the state of micro LED TVs in November 2022. And you might want to take a seat because, well, you'll see. So you have two options, really. You have the Samsung MS1A 99-inch and the Samsung MS1A 110-inch. And their prices are $130,000 and $150,000. Not cheap, to say the least. There's another option, though, if that's too cheap for you. So Sony makes these modular LED, micro LED panels, and each panel is $8,220 with a very high brightness of 1,800 candelos per meter squared. Now, to get a 4K image, you're gonna need 64 of these panels, meaning you're gonna need 526 thousand dollars not cheap but that also gets you once all stitched together a 218 inch television now usually these you may have seen these panels stitched together for events or talks or uh, art exhibits that sort of thing and they do look really really cool uh, but as you could guess this is probably not the most um, consumer facing option for micro LED. So why is this technology so good in the first place? So what is micro LED? We know what an LED is, most of us. It's the little clear tube looking structure about this big with a rounded off top and two metal prongs coming off bottom. And when you put electricity through it, it emits light, LED, light emitting diode. So all the micro part is, it means there are millions of red, green, and blue micro LEDs stuck onto a panel and turned into a TV. That's all it is. And why is it so beneficial and pricey and good? Well, one, it's you have to make these tiny, tiny little lights. And two, you have to figure out a way to plaster millions of them on there without any of them being damaged uh, or being faulty or anything like that. But then, why are they so good? Well, like OLED, or organic LED, OLEDs can turn off each of the pixels. So when you have a completely black screen, it's actually black. Versus if you have an LCD with an LED backlit, it can only turn off uh, the amount of LEDs that you have in the back, be it a handful, or hundreds or thousands. But the problem with that, unless you have a just pure black screen, which you don't end up seeing that much, you start getting the halo effect. And that's when, let's say you have pure black and then you have one little star in the image and you have, and it's only a couple of pixels wide. So that is gonna need an entire LED backlight to turn on. And the backlight is larger than the actual pixel so it's gonna to try to get as brightest as possible in the middle, but then the, since that entire backlit LED is on, all many of those uh, pixels surrounding it are gonna be a slightly illuminated too, giving it a little halo. So micro LEDs, since all these micro LEDs are separate, they can be turned on and off individually. And unlike the complicated process of creating an OLED screen, LEDs are, in fact, very simple. So those little LEDs can get very, very bright, and they can show a very pure, pure color, so a wide color gamut. So let's go over the whole list of why micro-LED is the best technology right now. Highest brightness, highest contrast, most power efficient, fastest response time, longest lifetime, widest operating temperature, you can use them in a really cold environment and a really hot environment, greatest viewing angle, it's really nice, and as I said, the purest, most saturated colors. So really, in just about every way, micro LED is the best technology we have for viewing a digital image. The problem is, it's just so, so exponentially more expensive.